Hello everyone, today we are going to say about cell cycle regulation. Cell cycle regulation is very important for the survival of cell. It includes detection and repair of genetic material as well as it prevents uncontrolled cell division. There are two main regulatory classes of molecules that is cycling and cycling dependent kinases that is CDKs. It also includes a protein complex known as MPF that is maturation or mitosis promoting factor MPF. So in this module we are going to study about regu uh, regulatory molecules and cell cycle regulation. This is third part cell cycle regulation. Learning objectives are cell cycle regulation, cycline, kinase and mutants, maturation promoting factor MPF. Introduction Cell cycle regulation is important to the survival of a cell. This includes the detection and repair of genetic damage as well as the prevention of uncontrolled cell division. The molecular events that control the cell cycle are ordered and directional. Each process occurs sequentially and it is impossible to reverse the cycle. There are two key classes of regulatory molecules, cyclines and cyclin dependent kinases that determines a cell's progress through the cell cycle. Several genes encoding cyclin and CDKs are conserved among all eukaryotes, but generally more complex organisms have more elaborate cell cycle control system that incorporate more individual components. Many relevant genes were first identified by studying yeast, especially Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Genetic nomenclature in yeast names many of these genes CDC followed by identifying number that is CDC 25 or CDC 20. Cyclines are the regulatory subunits and CDKs the catalytic subunit of the of an activated heterodimer. Cyclines have no catalytic activity and CDKs are inactive in the absence of a partner cycline. When activated by a bound cycline, CDKs perform a common biochemical reaction called phosphorylation that activates or inactivate target proteins to orchestrate coordinated entry in the next phase of the cell cycle. Different cyclin CDK combination determine downstream protein targeted. CDKs are constitutively expressed in cells whereas cyclines are synthesized at specific stages of the cell cycle in response to various molecular signals. In figure we can see cell cycle and PKC's representation of the most important cell cycle events and of the involvement of some PKC's in their regulation. PKC alpha and PKC epsilon are uh, able to affect cyclin D1 and D3 uh, leading to effects on the G1S phase of the cell cycle differentiation. An inhibitory role of PKC1 has been described in down modulation of the cyclin E CDK2 complex. Different regulation of cyclin A and E are linked to PKC delta activity. Finally, 
nuclear translocation of PKC alpha and PKC beta 2 leads to lamine B1 phosphorylation in the G2M phase. Opposite roles on P21 SIP and SIP1 and P27 KEEP1 have been reported for the PKCs. Cyclines. Cyclines are named as a such because they undergo a constant cycle, cycle of syn synthesis and degradation during cell division. Cyclines are protein kinase activators. When cyclines are synthesized, they act as a activating protein and bind to CDKs forming a cycling CDK complex. This complex then act as a signal to the cell to move to the next cell cycle phase. Eventually, the cyclin degrades deactivating the CDK thereby signaling an exit from a particular phase. There are two classes of cyclines, mitotic cyclines and G1 cyclines. Mitotic cyclines. Mitotic cyclines accumulate gradually during G2. Upon reaching a high enough concentration, they can bind to CDKs. When mitotic cyclines bind to CDKs in G2, the resulting complex is known as mitosis promoting factor MPF. The complex act as the signal for the G2 cell to enter mitosis. Once the mitos mitotic cycline degrades, MPF is inactivated and the cell exists mitosis by dividing and re-entering G1. The cellular signals that we described earlier that is cell cycle, com uh, completion of DNA replication and cellular environment provide the signals that regulate the synthesis and degradation of cyclines. G1 cyclines bind to CDK proteins during G1. Once bound to activate the CDK signals, the cells exist from G1 and entry into S. When the cell reaches an appropriate size and the cellular environment is correct for DNA replication, and the cycline degrades. G1 cycline degradation deactivates the CDK leading to entry into S. There are several cyclines, at least 30, which are synthesized and degraded in a stage uh, of specific manner. Their molecular weight ranges from 35 to 90 kilodalton. Not all cyclines are involved in CDK's activation. Cyclines are made up of, of heli, he, helices that is STH and HLH which provide a site into which CDK attaches. The C terminal contains sequence of 9 amino acid called destruction boxes which is recognized by ubiquitination enzyme complex. Ubiquitin ABC C mediated proteolysis of mitosis cycline is dependent on its 90 residues for ubiquitin mediated proteolysis. The sequence used is called destruction box. When D box exists in protein N terminal, the protein is recognized more easily by E1 and then capture to degradation pathway. The said sequence of cyclines are targets for ubiquitination by E1, E2 and E3 by anaphase promoting complex APC at the end of anaphase. However, cyclines C, F and G and H have a structural relationship not involved in cell cycle regulation. Example, cyclin H CDK7 dimers are associated with eukaryotic 
TF2H. Kinases and mutants. Kinases, cyclin dependent kinases, that is CDKs. A CDK is an enzyme that adds negatively charged phosphate groups to other molecules in a process called phosphorylation. Though phosphorylation CDK signal the cell that it is ready to move to the next stage of the cell cycle. As their name suggests, cyclin dependent protein kinases are dependent on cyclins, a class of regulatory proteins. Cyclins bind to CDKs, activating them to phosphorylate other molecules. Cyclin dependent kinases play an important role in regulation of cell division cycle. A typical CDK consists of a catalytic subunit CDK1 and regulatory subunit that is cyclin A cyclin H. Each CDK cyclin complex is believed to act as a specific stage of the cell cycle. Figure 1 shows the main CDKs involved the cell cycle control. CDKs are regulated by first transient transcription translation of their subunit. Complex formation, several post-translational modification, interaction with various proteins inhibitor and interacting proteins that is P9CKS and modification of their cellular localization. The crystal structure of CDK2 in complex with ATP and various inhibitors and CDK2 cyclin A KIP1 have been determined allowing a very precise understanding of the molecular mechanisms underlying CDK activation and inhibition. CDK activity regulation. CDK's activity is regulated depending upon the species the CDK has at its N end has a threonine 14 or tyrosine 15. Adjacent to kinase site there is another phosphorylating site that is THR 160 or THR 161. If this hydroxyl site of Y T amino acids are phosphorylated, the enzyme rem, uh, remains inactive. It will be act active only when cyclin binds and dephosphorylation of THR14 and tyrosine 15, but CDKs to be activated phosph phosphorylation of THR160 or THR161 is required. Dephosphorylation of the same is performed by activated CDC25, a phosphate enzyme becomes active when it is phosphorylated otherwise inactive. Phosphorylation of THR160 or 161 is must. This phosphorylation is believed to be by the enzyme called CDK activating kinase that is CAK. Phosphorylation of THR 160 or 161 can be achieved by autophosphorylation once the CDK is active. The cycling CDK dimer protein is a serine and tyrosine protein kinase. Note the V1 is active when it is unphosphorylated and become inactive if it is phosphorylated by neem one enzyme. Similarly, CDC25 of phosphatase becomes active if it is phosphorylated and remains inactive if it is not phosphorylated. Activation by the binding of cycling to CDK, uh, phosphorylation of CDK at tyrosine 14 and and tyrosine 15 that is w wev1 the 39160 or 161 cak 
renders inactive but phosphorylation of T uh, tyrosine 14 and tyrosine 16 by CDC 25 makes cycling CDK active is shown in the figure. Mutants Cellular proliferation follows an orderly progression through the cell cycle which is governed by protein complex composed of cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases. These complexes bef uh, enforce their regulatory function by phosphorylation of key proteins involved in cell cycle transition such as the product en encoded by the retinoblastoma uh, gene that is PRB. Mutations and overexpression of cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases mainly cyclin D and CDK4 have been reported and proposed to be oncogenic events. More recently a new family of negative regulators functioning as CDK inhibitory molecules has been identified. Because of their recessive nature in cell cycle control and the fact that some of them are mutated in human tum tumors, it has been suggested that they may also function as a tumor suppressor gene. It appears that the molecular networking of these proteins and complexes impact two fundamental cell cycle regulator P53 and PBRB. Crosstalk pathways between these two nuclear proteins are being delineated implying potential links between P53 and PRB in cell cycle control, apoptosis and tumor progression. In addition, the high division rate and mutation pattern of T53 and RB in primary tumors have been uh, rendered them prototype tumor suppressor gene. First, CDK inhibitors. Though cycling CDKs plays critical regulatory role in cell cycle, there is the set of molecule that regulate the regulators in yeast, they are CDK inhibitors or generally they are cell cycle cyclins CDK inhibitors that is CKIS. There are different types of CKIS such as FAR1P, SIK1P. The inhibitors bind to cyclin CDK complexes and prevent their activity. The CKIS are P21 SIP, P27 KIP, P57 KIP2. CKIS inhibits G1 cyclin CDKs, S phase cyclin CDKs. The metazones, there are inhibitors that binds to CDKs called INKs, inhibitor of kinase family of inhibitors. INKs interact with mid G1 CDKs, CDK4 and CDK6 control G1 phase. MP kinase inhibitors in the form of dimers bind to kinase to form inactive complexes. Thus, they prevent phosphorylation of retinoblastoma proteins that is RB. So, the cell cycle is checked at G1 or G0 stage. INKs that is inhibitor of kinase. They are CDKs inhibitor proteins. INK4 family is specific to CDK4 and CDK6. INK4 has four members that is P15, INK4B, P16 INK4A, P18 INK4C and P19 that is INK4D. They contain uh, uncarine repeat sequences. P16, P19 bind next to ATP binding site so prevent 
its catalytic activity. It also include conformational changes so cyclin cannot bind. They act on cyclin D complexed either to CDK4 or CDK6. Another class of inhibitors such as CIK1 bind to CDC28 CLB2 in Saccharomyces inactivate the kinase at G1. So, entry of cell cycle into S phase requires the degradation of CIK1 by ubiquitination mode. SCF act as E3 ligase system. The SKP1 culine factor that is SCF complex consists of CDC53, CDC4, SKP1 and CDC34. These are involved in G1 cyclin destruction. KIPS that is KIPS. Another class consists of P21, P27 and P57 and they are identified by their molecular weights. They in general act on G1S class CDKs. P21 binds to all cycling CDKs CDK2, 4, 4 and 6, thus block progress through all stages of G1S. Increase in P21 concentrations is inhibitory. Many a times in cultured cells, one finds PCNA is also complexed with CDK cycline along with P21. So, it controls G1S stage progression. P27 also binds to CDK cycline and blocks progression into S phase, but its overexpression leads to the cell to go into G0 stage. Cycline H or CDK7, it is associated with TF2H and involved in phosphorylation of CTD tail of RNA polymerase 2. TF2B also contains cyclin like helix bundles. CDC7, CYC, DBF4 kinase. It is a serine threonine protein kinase required for the onset of S phase. The cycling DBF4 is constitutely synthesized but rapidly degrade from late M to G1. Activity peaks at the onset of DNA replication. Human homologs is HSK homolog of CDK7 kinase. However, this CDK lacks PSTAIRE sequence. The, uh, the target of this complex is MCM2. Loading of MCM2 on to ORE region is important in triggering the firing replication origin. CDK activating kinase that is CAK. CDK7 cycline H has CAK activity. Cycline A binding to CDC2, homologue is CDC28, exposes active site and ATP binding site in CDK protein, where threonine 116, threonine 161 is made available for CAK to act upon. CAK phosphorylates threonine 160 of CDK to make CDK cycling A to be active. Positive regulation of CDK by cycling is often counterbalanced by negative regulation of ion case SIPs and KIPs. RUM1 protein CDC2, CDC13, MP kinase is influenced by RUM1 factor where RUM1 is overexpressed cell does not enter M phase, but S phase 
goes through multiple cycles. When RAM1 is deleted, the cell keeps the MPK inactive. So, this dependence S phase on M phase which requires CDC2 regulators. Till S phase is over, M phase will not start and till M phase is over, another round of S phase won't begin. Mitosis promoting factor or maturation promoting factor MPF. A protein complex is responsible for triggering mitosis is somatic cells and for maturation of oocytes into egg cells. This consists of cyclin B. Bound to cyclin dependent kinase and catalyzes the phosphorylation of proteins that in turn bring about the events of mitosis including condensation of chromosomes, formation of the mitotic spindle and breakdown of the nuclear envelope. Level of cyclin and MPF rise as the cell enters mitosis, reach a peak during mitosis and then fall during anaphase. MPF is a heterodimeric protein composed of cyclin B and cyclin dependent kinase CDK1 also known as CDC2 or P34 kinase that stimulates the mitotic and meiotic phases of the cell cycle. MPM promotes the entrance into mitosis from G2 phase by phosphorylating multiple proteins needed during mitosis. MPF is activated at the end of G2 by a phosphate which removes an inhibitory phosphate group added earlier. MPF induces multiple nuclear and cytoplasmic changes at the onset of M phase both by activating other protein kinases and by phosphorylating protein such as condensin and the nuclear lamines. In contrast, chromosome condensation has been shown to require phosphorylation of histone H3. Perhaps surprisingly, however, histone H3 is not phosphorylated by CDC2 and the kinase responsible for H3 phosphorylation in mitosis cell remains to be identified. In a cycle that can time the key events in a cell division, the activity of mitosis promoting factor MPF which triggers mitosis fluctuate with a rhythmic change in cyclin concentration. This graph relates the peaks of MPF to cyclin rhythm in mitosis. MPF action Breakdown of nuclear envelope which is one of the most dramatic event of mitosis represent the most clearly defined target for MPF action. CDC2 phosphorylates the lamin leading directly to depolarization of the nuclear lamina. This is followed by fragmentation of the nuclear membrane into small vesicles which eventually fuse to form a new daughter nuclei at telophase. The endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus similarly fragment into small vesicle which can then be distributed to daughter cells at cytokinesis. The breakdown of these membranes is also induced by MPF may be in part be mediated by CDC2 phosphorylation of the Golgi matrix protein GM130 which is required for the docking of COP1 coated vesicles to the Golgi membrane. 
phosphorylation and inactivation of GM-130 by uh, CDC2 inhibits vesicles docking and fusion leading to fragmentation of the Golgi apparatus. However, additional targets of CDC2 may also be involved and mechanism by which MPM leads to membrane fragmentation remain to be fully elucidated. Figure shows nuclear membrane breakdown. To summarize this model, we have studied cell cycle regulation and cell cycle regulatory molecules. In that, we have studied two main classes of regulatory molecules that is cyclines and cycline dependent kinases. We, we have also studied about a protein complex which, which is MPF that is mitosis promoting factor or maturation promoting factor which help to disintegrate nuclear envelope during mitosis. We have also studied ab about CDK inhibitors and uh, inhibitor kinases. All these regulatory molecules helps in cell cycle regulation. It also detects and repair DNA damage and also prevents uncontrolled cell division. Thank you.